Hey guys, what's up? I welcome you all to my channel. So, in this video, we're going to calculate the wind load as per IS875 Part 3. So, before calculating the wind force, we have to check the structure, how it's going to behave under the wind load. So, structure are categorized under two categories. Categorized under two categories. So the first one is rigid structure. Second one is the dynamically wind sensitive structure. So how we can find that our structure is falling under which category? For that, we have to refer IS IS 875 part 3 clause number 9.1 H45. So now I am opening the IS code. So here is the clause 9.1. These are the two conditions on which we decide that structure is a rigid structure or a dynamically wind sensitive structure. So the first condition is building and a closed structure with a height to the minimum lateral dimension ratio should be more than 5 and the building and the structure whose natural frequency in the first mode is less than 1 hertz. So either of this condition satisfy by the structure then that structure is categorized as the dynamically wind sensitive structure okay so is code give us the formula for calculating the time period so for the moment resisting frames without bracings or a shear walls the time period should be equal to your 0.1 n where n is the number of stories and for all other structures the time period is equal to your 0.1 0.09 into height of the structure divided by the root of maximum base dimension okay so let's consider this structure in which in horizontal direction we have four equal span of 3.5 meter and in the vertical direction we have six equal spans of 2.5 meter and the height of the structure is 3.2 on each story okay and we have seven stories okay so let's consider this as our y-axis and this direction as our x-axis okay so lx will be equals to 4 into 3.5 which is equals to our 14 meters Ly is equals to 6 into 2.5 which is equals to 15 meter h is the height of the structure which is 7 into 3.2 which is equals to 22.4 meter and n is the number of stories that is 7 okay so let's take this data to the excel sheet and find out that this structure is rigid structure or a dynamically wind sensitive structure so according to our example the length of the structure in x direction was 14 meters in the y direction it was 15 and the height of the structure is 22.4 and number of stories as 7 and we are assuming that our structure is moment resisting frame without shear walls and braces okay so so maximum dimension it's found as 15 and the least dimension is 14 okay so the ratio of height to least lateral dimension is 1.6 which is less than 5 so that's why it is showing rigid structure okay so and we find the time period so our structure is moment resisting frame without shear walls and braces so as per is 875 part 3 the time period is equal to your 0 0.1 
into number of stories okay so and accordingly we calculate the frequency of of the structure and it, which is greater than 1 so it is a rigid so overall our structure is a rigid structure okay so let's see how i have created this excel sheet so let's take the blank excel sheet okay so let's divide this this in two parts the first one is input and the second one is output okay so the first input we have to need we have to take is length of the of the structure in x direction okay similarly in the y direction okay after that height of the structure number of stories okay then type of the structure okay so in our case it was 14 meters in y it was 15 height of the structure was 22.4 and the number of stories are 7 so in as per our is code so we have only two choices over here so let's create a drop down menu for that select this cell and go to data in data we have to go to data variation in this we have to select as a list i have already created another spreadsheet for the type of the structure okay so we have to just select this just like this press okay okay so over here we have got this drop down menu okay so this is the input so let's make it to the different color okay so over here this column is for remarks okay so this is the units so it's it is in meters and rest of the two are units okay so the first output we need is the maximum dimension which is required for calculating the time period okay so now we have to apply if condition for Printing the greater value from this two, okay. So if D4 is greater than D5, then it should print D4, else it should print D5. Okay. So now we have to find the least lateral dimension. Okay. So for this we have to again apply the if condition if d5 is greater than d4 then it should print d4 else d5 so like this now we have to find the ratio of height to the least later dimension okay so for this we have to take simply divide this height by least later dimension okay so now we have to check apply the check over here if this is less than 5 then structure would be rigid structure structure else structure is dynamically wind sensitive okay so now we have to find the time period okay so for that we need to just check the input the type of the structure
okay so if this is equal to all other structure then we you have to apply the formula 0 0.09 into height of the structure divided by square root of of maximum dimension okay else 0 0.1 into number of stories okay so you can okay so you can use the same condition just for displaying the formula okay so right now i'm skipping that part so the last is we need to calculate the frequency okay so frequency so frequency is nothing but one upon time period so one divided by time period so now again we have to check apply the check over here whether it is less or greater so this is less than one then structure is dynamically when sensitive structure structure is it is a rigid structure okay so now the last and the final the type of the structure so if any of this condition gets satisfied then our structure is dynamically wind sensitive structure so for that we have to again apply a check if so any one condition gets satisfied then our structure is dynamic effects we have to consider so for that we have to use or okay now apply a check whether this is equal to your if this not true let's copy this so because we have to rewrite this so this is equal to your okay so now close this all bracket and now if any of this condition gets true then it should clear dynamically when structure sensitive structure else it is a rigid Use this. So, so this is the the way how we calculate the type of the structure. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to see how to calculate the for wind force for the rigid structures and wind dynamic wind sensitive structures. So till then, stay tuned. Do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more such content. And thanks for watching.